Hello and welcome once again to CanonBlogger.com. This is the first in an entirely new series of video tutorials and we're going to basically be taking you through Adobe Lightroom 5 from soup to nuts and that includes everything from how do you get the software, how to download the software, how to install the software. We'll talk about installing it on a Windows platform and a Macintosh platform and then we'll also take you through some of the considerations that you want to take into account when going to set up Lightroom 5 as well as how to use all of the features that are part and parcel for this latest and greatest incarnation of the Lightroom software that so many photographers have fallen in love with and have incorporated into their photography workflow. So thanks for tuning in. I'm going to start off in this first session here obviously with how to download the software. So in order to download the software you need to go to adobe.com and you need to register. Okay, they're not going to let you download software unless you register with them. Once you register with them, go ahead and proceed to log in. So you will click the sign in here in my browser. Now, fortunately, I've already signed in in another browser, so you can see what happens when you're going through the installation or download process. I'm signed in. I'm using Google Chrome here. You can see my name, Jason Anderson, and you can see the process of my download. I've got about five minutes left here on this download. And that's another thing to keep in mind when you're downloading the software is you want to make sure that you have enough room on your hard drive not only to install the software but also to take into account future updates right because adobe is always going to be in pushing out updates or security patches or fixes or things like that that go along with this software so you can see here adobe lightroom 5 for windows takes up about 819 megabytes I generally will allow up to about a gigabyte uh, per install. On the Mac platform, for example, it takes up 1.11 gigabytes to install Lightroom 5.2. So I'm going to allow up to 1.5 gigabytes of software space on that uh, native hard drive for my Mac to make sure that I have enough room for the software. So that's the first thing you have to do is create an account with Adobe, log into Adobe, and then proceed with downloading the software. Once we've downloaded the software, our next step will then be to install it. And I'll talk about some of the considerations that you want to take into account before you even begin the software installation. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll proceed into our next video tutorial with how to install the software.